Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. I have some of the latest news about the Ahsoka show that's coming up in, what is it, a week and a half, 10 days, something like that. And uh, they released this this sort of a teaser. They're calling it a teaser, I guess, but it's like a fourth trailer. And uh, if you haven't seen my other video about the three previous trailers and how basically they're the same eight scenes and then they just basically give you the exact same shots multiple times and they don't really reveal anything new in any of them check that out because in this fourth one it's literally the same thing it's all the same except for the first like five seconds where it shows um sabine being lightsaber trained by ahsoka and there may be a reason for that and I'll get into that in a minute. But first I want to just say, first of all, the trailers were, the fact that they're all the same. I mean, why are you putting out four trailers if they're all the same? But anyways, it's just, it's so silly to me. But, but, um, like, what are you hiding? But also, um, so Ahsoka is, is lightsaber training Sabine. Is that, is she a Jedi or is this sort of, they're going to do the sort of, middle of the road thing or what's going on here is she being trained as a jedi or just a force user person it's kind of strange um because we still don't know and they're, they're marketing it that ahsoka's a jedi it says jedi in the trailers there's just a lot of confusion and it's also confusing because sabine in rebels was already pretty decent with a lightsaber like i know that they spent time um i know ezra had 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 started her training lightsaber training taken it to a certain level and then kanan took over and she wielded a lightsaber by the end of it pretty good but in the trailer with the with, with the new ahsoka trailer it it looks like she's sort of starting from scratch again like like sort of like um like when luke had the blaster shield over his face and you know and ahsoka's sort of dominating her it appears at least in the trailer sabine kind of falls down so i don't understand what this is about and it feels like like feloni like feloni made rebels so he knows that she knows already how to use it at least to a reasonable level so it would make more sense for ahsoka to be training her at sort of high speed high intensity level more than it would like this sort of rudimentary beginning stage so is he retconning his own work now? Like, is he to make Ahsoka, you know, is Ahsoka now taking over that too from his own characters, Ezra and Kanan that he made? Like, she's now the one that's going to get credit for training Sabine in her lightsaber abilities? I don't know. And and if that's the case, I don't even know why you would focus on that. If she already knows how to wield a lightsaber pretty good and you're training her to be a sort of whatever you are, non-Jedi or whatever... Why wouldn't you just focus on sort of the force using and all that stuff rather than the lightsaber training? Because now you're kind of diminishing your own scenes that you already wrote. So that part was really weird. You guys tell me in the comment section what you think of that, especially those of you who've watched Rebels and are really big fans. And then the other thing I want to say was, so the trailers are all, like I said, like the same eight scenes. This, this, this scene, this five seconds we get of this lightsaber training thing is the, the only other stuff we get everything else is from the same scenes and so is there, there's obviously a whole pile of stuff that they're not showing us and so then i looked into this and i said to myself wait a minute i thought about the timelines and i thought to myself okay so ahsoka's with sabine and, and stuff and there there's thrawn and there's these other mercenary jedi non-jedi whatever they are again they're, they're just anyways where is Luke in this situation? So then I'm looked into it. Wait a minute. So Mando season two with Luke takes place in nine ABY. Now at that point, Ahsoka knows who Luke is. She knows where Luke is. And her show takes place two years later. So here's the, here's the, what I'm saying to you. Is it possible that there's a whole pile of scenes with Luke in them and that they didn't want to add those to the trailers. And that's why the trailers are so sort of, mundane in the same scenes now that's being very generous and giving disney the benefit of the doubt which at this point i probably shouldn't be doing but is that a possibility that he's actually in it a fair bit and they just can't show any of it? well and this is the other thing that's that that is going to have to happen one way or the other 
So because of this timeline, Luke, knowing Ahsoka two years before, she knows where he is, he's where planet he's on, everything else. So either Luke is cameoing in this show, 100% cameoing in this show, or Ahsoka never communicates with him about what is going on. Because if she doesn't communicate with him what's going on and doesn't it, it, and doesn't involve him, then what does that say? Why wouldn't she? Why wouldn't she contact Luke if there's this big threat? She knows where he is. So if she doesn't do that, then that kind of looks dumb. So it's either looks dumb or Luke is cameoing in this show. One way or the other. And I'm not even saying it necessarily has to be season one because we don't know exactly what season one is going to be. But Luke is either going to be in this show or it's going to be dumb. There's no middle ground. You guys let me know in the comment section what you think. Do you think the Ezra Kanan thing is kind of weird? Do you think the trailers are kind of weak? And what do you think about Luke cameoing in this show? Let me know in the comment section. Thanks for listening. Uh, check out any of my other Star Wars content. Uh, sequels Reimagined. If you do like this content, please like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. And have a good day.